Hello, Miss Rodriguez. I did want to thank you again for taking the time to get on the Skype call with me. We are very excited to tell you about the advancements that we have coming for Sportacular Entertainment Center. We did want to tell you the upcoming things that we have and recap on what we discussed about last time on what Sportacular is exactly. So I just want to go ahead and hop right into that. We are going to be a kids entertainment sports center where kids can play their favorite sports recreationally and also get training to advance their skills for kids that are very into uh, furthering their career in sports. Now uh, we are currently trying to franchise the sports teams in the area that we are currently locating in. Uh, so we want to be able to name our facilities that we offer, so the arenas or training rooms that we will have after these sports teams with the corresponding sport there so kids get excited because they're their favorite sports teams. They get to go and practice in these rooms that is thought to be their favorite sports teams room. Um, so we are very excited about franchising with these different sports teams as well as we are in contact with these coaches to these sports teams to see if they would love to participate in our one month annual program that we'll have every year um, to offer elite training to kids who are enthusiastic about f furthering their career in sports. Now we will offer these trainers as the coaches. If the coaches want to come out, they can dedicate one month um, to coming out and training these kids and we're very excited because we've had positive feedback from some of these coaches already and we've only reached out to just a few. So we're excited for that to come. We have that in the works. But I did, the reason why I got on the Skype call with you is to tell you about the business form that we have decided on. Now we have decided on a limited liability company. The reason is, is because we really liked that it was a mixture of a corporation and also it was a mixture of a limited partnership. We really liked that it was taxed like a corporation where it was taxed as an a entity as itself, but it was limited like a limited partnership and a corporation because we don't really want that liability on us. So we're really excited. We chose that. However, the only problem is, is right now we are locating in California because it's a very sports populated area. We are um, doing it in San Francisco, but the problem is, is if we want to expand, which we plan to, the laws will not necessarily be the same in every state. So we do have to watch out because there's no uniform set of laws for a limited liability company. But other than that, we're really excited and that's an obstacle we can face later. So we did look at sole proprietorship, but we did not like that it was um, one person. We wanted it to be a team, but it is an advantage to most people because it's really easy to set up. It's um, owned by one person and it's very flexible. But the only problem is, is there's a lot of risk with that and the taxes are put on your own personal um, taxes instead of as an entity. Uh, but there is a lot of risk with a sole proprietorship. We did look at partnerships. We looked at so or a general partnership and a limited partnership. General partnership, um, there is a lot of, again, li or risk with that because there's no limited liability. But the taxation also is um, pass-through entity, which means it just passes right through the business itself and back to the owners, owners, and they put it on their taxes instead of uh, paying it as an enti or as a entity itself. Now, um, we did like limited partnership, but like I said, we went with the LLC. We like limited partnership because it did have that limited liability, but we really didn't like the taxation because it is also a limited or a pass-through entity. So the last one we discussed was a corporation. The upsides to this is it's very flexible with management. You can have a team. Um, it's limited liability. And the taxes are through the organization itself because by law a corporation is known to be a, a like is legally known as a person. So it pays taxes. The only problem is it can be double um, taxed. So that's the only downfall to it. Um, but it is a really good option and we did consider it. That's why we did go with the limited liability company is because um, it was a mixture of the two forms that we really liked, which was limited partnership and corporation. But um, yeah, so that's all of the business forms and why we didn't choose the ones we did. We really hope to hear if you're interested in being a part of the team because we are really excited to have you if you are. And yeah, just reach out. Let me know what you think. Have some time to think about it and just get back to me. Thanks. Have a good one.